And let's welcome in Denny Matthews. And Denny was nice enough to come and join us as we've been talking a lot about Yogi Berra today. Yep. Joel spent a lot of time visiting with Art Stewart last inning. And uh, HUD has been sharing some of his memories. Yogi Berra was his first manager in the Yankees organization. And really? Yeah. Quite an honor on my part. I'll bet. Like, believe me, as he's told me before, I was one of the reasons he got fired. <laughs> <laughs> what are your memories, Denny? Oh boy. I met him years ago, my early years with the Royals. And in fact, Buddy Blattner introduced me to Yogi, and I was stunned that he was such a small man, short. I mean, he didn't really look like a catcher, but boy, he could play. I'll tell you what, he could hit. A really, really good bad ball hitter, as they said in those days. And uh, he could play the outfield. He was a darn good outfielder. Really? I didn't know that. About sure. Him. Yeah. He did indeed. We were going over some of his numbers and how he was able to avoid strikeouts. He had one year where he had, what was it, 656 plate appearances and 12 strikeouts. Yeah. <laughs> and swinging a lot of pitches, did you think, no, don't swing at that? But he'd right. make contact. He probably didn't wait to walk a lot either. No. Yeah. So we were saying he'd he'd fit good in the Royals uniform, wouldn't he? Mm. And he, you know he didn't he didn't walk either. Eight thousand three hundred and fifty nine plate appearances, seven hundred and four walks uh -huh. is all. Yeah, he was in left field when Bill Mazeroski hit that memorable World mm. Series winning home run, nineteen sixty. Mustakis takes care of Gutierrez, and Denny. Like a lot of other visitors to Kansas City, Yogi Berra liked to come here to eat. <laughs> Didn't he, though? Yeah, he was legendary at Stroud's. And he loved Stroud's. He'd go there twice if they were in town for three games. But uh, he'd always start out his trip to Stroud's after a game. Around 10 30, they'd go down to Stroud's, five or six of the Yankees coaches, manager. And Yogi would always start in the press room here at the ballpark with a hot dog. That was his <laughs> starter before going to Stroud. Just to get the boiler warmed just up. Just to huh? get it go, just to get things going. You know, he and Dick Hauser, former Royals manager, roomed together when both were coaches with the Yankees. And one time I asked Dick, I said, Does Yogi really say those things that people say that? He does, and the writers write. And I said, "Do the writers in New York make up the quotes for Yogi?" And Dick Hauser said, "Absolutely not. Yogi said those things time after time." And they roomed together. And they had their own condo during spring training down in Florida. So Dick saw a lot of Yogi not only on the field but off the field. They were obviously very good friends. And when Dick Hauser got the manager's job with the Royals, why well, the Yankees came over to Fort Myers and. Uh, Yogi came out of the clubhouse and, and Hauser was at the batting cage and hey Yogi, how's it going over there? And Yogi said, Oh, pretty good, Dick. It's uh, I still got that condo we had. And he said, You know what I got this spring? I got that cable TV. And Dick said, Wow, you do? Yeah. <laughs> cable. <laughs> Paul Escobar for the second out. And Yogi was just thrilled with this cable TV thing. And he said, Boy, I can watch anything I want at night. I can see. I can see sports and I can see movies. And he said, you know, I was watching a Steve McQueen movie last night. It was really a good one. He was on a motorcycle and the motorcycle, he was jumping over fences. And Dick said, yeah, that was a good movie. I remember that. And Yogi said, you know what? Steve McQueen must have made that movie before he died. <laughs> and <laughs> Dick Hauser said, yeah, I'll bet he did. Yo, just a hunch. <laughs> But he said Yogi would come up with stuff like that all the time. <laughs> and I guess it's pretty timely, but with the Pope in New York, Yogi and his wife Carmen had an audience with the Pope in the offseason. He was still a player. And when he was introduced to the Pope, I think it was Pope John at the time, somebody asked, well, what'd you say to the Pope? And Yogi said, hi, Pope. <laughs> that was it. What That's else would right. you say? I can almost hear his voice saying that too. But then again, what do you say when you see the Pope? Well, exactly, right? Hi, Pope. <laughs> That's what he is. That's what they call him. Was it Toot Shores Restaurant in New York? The famous restaurant, was that the name of it? The one where he had the famous line? It's so <laughs> crowded that nobody goes there anymore? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Famous steak place in New York City, yep. 
Two and two on Mark Trumbo. Giordano Ventura had a 37 pitch fifth inning as the Mariners scored two and got all three of those run or scored three rather and got all of those runs with two outs. So he's up over 100 pitches trying to get through six with Morales warming up and a little tapper foul. Did you remember Denny that the 1980 team and we're looking for reasons to get past this Royal slide here some reasons for inspiration. But did you remember the 1980 team lost eight in a row at the mm -hmm. near the end of the regular season. Yeah. Yeah they did and. Very similar to this in a way. Not a great September but the Royals had so much padding with their lead. Nice play Hosmer there. So yeah I can see similarities definitely. Nice bounce back inning. Three up three down with three ground outs and now word with home plate umpire Rob Drake. The Royals are down three one. <laughs> 